GGRC. Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me RC here on GGRC. If you guys ever wondered what it might be like to be a raccoon, I don't know, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Uh, but in Raccoon Adventure, you can find out what it's like to be a raccoon, which I assume is like a raccoon. Is that just his nickname? I'm not really sure. Uh, but guys, this is Raccoon Adventure. And as you can see, this game is a 3D platformer, and it is heavily inspired by 90s 3D platformers, as you could already tell. I believe Banjo-Kazooie must be a gigantic inspiration for this game. Uh, we're actually going to head into Raccoon's uh, little apartment type setting here. Uh, as you can see, he's got a uh, Nintendo 64 hanging out over here, which I think is pretty cool. And grab his little N64 controller, play on the TV. I really, really like that uh, that little detail they added in there. I think that's great. Uh, you can also change up your costumes. You can play as uh, the chef. I really like the uh, the chef out outfit here. Uh, I've unlocked uh, the mariachi skull. That is actually the most recent one that I've unlocked. Uh, but you also have a winter outfit. You have pajamas. Let's put on the pajamas because why not? Let's change it up. Every level seems to have uh, a new outfit that you can get. Uh, but the whole crux of this game is that you're going through worlds collecting chess pieces and chessboard stuff. So as you can see here, I have four out of the 64 squares uh, that I'm looking for. I basically have finished one main level and I collected one of these chess pieces here. And that's it. That's what you're doing. Uh, you're also collecting coins. I don't know what the coins are actually used for. I have 300 something coin, 321 coins. No idea what they do. No idea what they're used for. Um, but I wanted to kind of get into this game early. This game just came out this week on Early Access. I think it's cute. I think it's got a really good look to it. Uh, I do have a few things to talk about with this game as far as, like, things I, I could suggest for it. Because as it's Early Access, the game tells you as soon as you boot it up, Hey, this is an Early Access game. A lot of things are going to change before this game is fully released. Uh, basically, this is in beta form, which is good to let, you know, people know before they start the game. Uh, that this is not a finished product because there are definitely things about it that need to be you know spruced up a bit and, and changed. Uh, one thing, for instance, might actually be uh, you know the, sort of like the feel of the world. Uh, the worlds don't seem to feel very lived in. Um, most recently, there was a game that came out uh, that was also supposed to be the successor to Banjo Kazooie called Ukulele. You guys may have played it, at least seen it. I've reviewed it on this, on my channel here. Um, and while I wasn't uh, a gigantic fan of that game, uh, based, uh, you know, on, on certain reasons or whatever, um, what it did do is it created a, a few worlds that felt very well lived in, especially the first world. If you look at the first world of that game, uh, it feels like the characters in that might actually live in that world, which is pretty cool. Um, this feels a bit sparse, and I'm not quite sure what it is. It just feels kind of sterile. Uh, though, if you're going for that N64 feel, I guess that makes sense, because those games, if you go back to them now, have that same feel to them. So, that might be a success there, if that's what you're going for. Uh, the enemies uh, might need need to be something that's revamped as well. They're not very bright. Uh, they don't seem to have very good sounds. Um, the only way you can really take them out is to sort of butt-stomp them like that. Take them out. Uh, you get those regular enemies we just took out. You get these guys who have armor on. I'm not even really sure that you could take them out, but you can do uh, bounces off of them, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I don't know if it's the size of the character models or whatever it is, but things just seem kind of, kind of sparse and kind of not lived in, if that, that makes sense. Um, other than that, though, I really like the look of the game. I like the art style. Again, definitely feels like, looks like an old N64 platformer, so not a bad job done there. Uh, let's go actually jump into the next level here. Uh, the, one of the reasons why I wanted to show this off, uh, you know, just after one level... It's because technically, I'm at 20% already. So if you hit pause here, uh, no, we don't want to quit. It showed me earlier. Maybe once I get to a world, it'll show me. Uh, you can see I finished this world here. I got the puzzle pieces. I got the chessboard pieces, uh, or the squares rather. 
we're gonna jump into this next level here if we pause now yeah so you can see there i'm already 18 percent done with the game and i was like wow after one level already 18 percent you can see i've collected those two pieces you know those uh four uh chessboard uh squares already um there's 32 white ones 32 black ones um and if you do the math it doesn't really makes sense with the percentage of how I'm how far I'm done with this game so I imagine there's only so much to play in early access at the moment and the rest of the game is currently being developed that is my guess on it at the moment um, but here we go let's check out this this new world here because I have not played any of this yet this is some real some real music here uh, so you can dive down into the water very similar to old school uh, 3D uh, platforming games and just like true 3D platforming games from the past uh, swimming is not exactly the funnest thing to do in this game it, it feels a bit stiff like it kind of feels like it takes a while for him to kind of get where he's going uh, part of that I feel like you know he kind of needs uh, a speed boost here because you can you can rise up you can dive down and that's all you could do underwater so it makes it really easy to control really easy you know for for kids to play probably because there's not so much to get confused by however uh he i feel like he needs a speed boost of some kind because it takes a while to get things done under there here's your checkpoint here now i don't know if you guys know this but i am actually a uh, huge platforming fan, whether it be 3D or 2D. So you use that guy to bounce up here. Hit a switch. And head up over here. Uh, this game, uh, the way it feels... Oh, we gotta stay on this button for it to keep moving. This game, the way it feels, definitely feels very much like... Uh, the, uh, Lucky's, uh... What was it? Lucky Tales? Super Lucky's Tale, or whatever it's called. I've always had a... Oh no! I fell! Ah, that's what the coins are used for. Okay, I had not died yet. Now I know. Uh, but at least it counted that square for me. That's nice. You can actually pick up acorns and throw them at enemies too, which is somewhat helpful in certain situations. Uh, but yeah, Super Lucky's Tale. Um, actually uh, reviewed that one on the site uh, back when as well. Uh, this feels a lot like that game. So if you're a fan of that game, I think you might actually dig this one. Obviously, this one needs a, a little bit more spit shine and polish to make it to that, you know, that uh, point of, you know, feeling more like Super Lucky's Tale. But, it, you know, a lot of this, the work feels like it's been done. Like, the platforming, the jumping, stuff like that feels pretty good. Combat feels a bit strange, too. We'll go into that once I get back here. I want to see where this is going to take me. This is going to take me to the end where there's a red coin. I don't really care about the coins, to be honest. But I want to see where this is going to completely take me. Just take me to an area with a chest. Okay, that's cool. I'll get the chest. And what do we get in the chest? Ah, we found another cool outfit. That's cool. Uh, would be nice if it gave you the option to change into the outfit as you collected it, though. I will say that. Alright, let's head on back over here. So let's talk about the combat real quick in this game. Um, I'm a bit fuzzy on it because it feels like Raku should have like some sort of attack, you know, while he's just standing here. But really, as far as I can tell, his only attack is a butt stomp, and that's it. So these guys that you see here, you can only take them out with these butt stomps. That's it. Kind of strange, in my opinion. Kind of a weird way to go about it. Oh. pop this thing out here. Oh, is there something behind it? Or is that going to kill me? That might kill me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this buzzard guy I've given money to, and I don't really know what his deal is either. Uh, he came to check out the results, right? So I gave him money in a previous level. Um, okay, so I won 200 coins from that. Okay, I guess I'll take him. Uh, let's do another bet, I guess. Okay, see, so what happens is you pick chess pieces, and then in the next level he'll show up and basically tell you whether, uh, 
you know whether whether you won or not I don't I don't understand the mini game but it's kind of cool that it's in there um, but it has nothing to do with the actual collection of pieces or anything like that it seems like it's more based on like hey you get some more coins if you do this and I mean do we really need more coins I don't know I don't, I don't seem to die a whole lot, but maybe somebody else, maybe a kid playing this might need a little bit of help. Oh! Take that guy out. There's gotta be a way to get down there. Gotta be a way. Uh, you're gonna run into little armadillo dudes They have spikes on them like that. We know better than that. We're not gonna jump on that guy. Okay, let's jump over here. The uh, platforming itself, though, and one of the reasons why I like this game... Oh, we do have a key, so we're going to have to get that key. Uh, but one of the reasons I do like this game uh, is because the platforming does feel pretty good. Oh, jeez. Wow, I'm down to almost no health here. i got to get those dudes away. Pick up the key. Go, 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 go. Throw it. Oh, my God, I threw it way over there. Uh, the throwing of the key may not be great, <laughs> but the uh, actual platforming, though, is pretty nice. I do like that you can throw something in their face like that, though. That's pretty good. There we go. Okay, we made it. All right, so we got the key here, so now we got to throw this across the... Oh, my God. Well, I made that guy dizzy from there. Whew. Maybe some kind of an aiming reticle might be nice there to know where I'm throwing the thing. That might be helpful. Let's hit this checkpoint. Grab that blue coin back there. Blue coins give you more. Probably like five, if I had to guess. Uh, red coins, I would assume, give you even more than that. And I thought I threw that off the ledge for a second there. Got the key. Okay, there we go. Uh, the other thing, too, is I see that there is a, uh, a brick there. Normally, you could throw stuff at those types of bricks and break them to get through. Uh, so I might have to grab one of those mushrooms and drop down to explode that one. So these guys are going to come running after me. We're going to drop here. Yeah, I think an aiming reticle of some sort would be really helpful to know like where you're about to throw something. Because, you know... Raku, like moving him around, can be really touchy. Apparently, I killed myself. The real question is will that brick still be broken? So, I've died twice just showing this game off, just in this level. So, apparently, the difficulty is definitely rising a bit. Uh, okay, I thought the enemy, or I thought an enemy was uh, missing for a second there. Run, 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 run. All right, let's try to do this again and not kill ourselves. Jeez. Can't seem to pull that one off without killing myself. Okay, so that's what we needed to do. We got to get the key for up there. This guy really wants a piece. Just coins. I would like to get some of my health back. That would be helpful. Uh, health pickups don't seem to be too rampant in this game, for some reason. Not sure what the deal is with that, but that is just the way it is. Oop, nope, we gotta throw it. Oh my god, throwing this key across is, like, kind of painstaking. This should not be that hard. Okay, let's try this again. I am moving on if it doesn't happen this time. There we go, okay. Let's go open this chest, shall we? Finally. There we go, we got another piece. Uh, so once you find every chessboard tile in a level, you then move on. And uh, you, you, at that point you will be able uh, to get the chest piece of the level. Oh boy, we got some kind of ability here. This is kind of cool. This is definitely something I've seen in other games before. So it's not like completely unique or anything, but it is pretty fun, something different. I know that Rek who like had all these nifty abilities. Now the thing is I'm assuming that yeah, that pepper thing runs out at some point, so you gotta be careful as to 
There we go. There's a red one. That definitely gave us a lot more coins. You gotta be careful as to when that thing is running out and when it's not. So you think apples, you think you'd be able to eat them, maybe gain some health back. That is not the case. Okay, I'm trying to avoid these guys like the plague here. Uh, let's see, just looking around for stuff. Okay, so we can jump up to this one. I see, okay. So we get the white one here. So we'll pop that one back up a bit. That's actually a cool little puzzle, going back and forth like that. So the game has fun little things like that. Oh boy, we got some kind of scary Venus flytrap things here. You can see what I'm saying here, though. I, like I said, I know that this game is early access, but enemies don't have any sound. These guys need to have some kind of, like, you know, sound as they fall. Uh, we would seem there's a way across there, but look at this. Here's a little, little secret for you guys. See, I don't find coins that important. If you're going to put secrets in there, you really got to put stuff in there that people are going to want to want to go after. Well, look who's back. You are far from home, Furball. Should be grateful we left you a game console, boy. <laughs> Let's settle once and for all. This will keep... Okay. Oh, man. All right, so this is a boss battle. Here's some health. These little firefly things here. All right, I'm assuming we got to throw a mushroom at you. Hey, that's a jerk thing to do. Nope, nope, that didn't do anything. There it is. So what's he gonna do now? Now this guy is uh, the guy who like stole your chess pieces in the first place. So I'm just taking him out. Hopefully we'll get us all of our chess pieces back. Probably not. Boom. The real question is how many mushrooms will I have to throw at this guy? Is it the rule of threes? See in a moment here, won't we? Boom. Oh wow. So it takes three mushrooms to get him down and then you can hit him. Wow. Grab that. Throw it. Okay, we knocked him. Oh, here we go. That's two. You know, uh, when it comes to mushrooms, guys, you never eat your own supply. You know, and that's what's happening here. Eat it. That is three. That's enough. I give up. As I promised, I will give you this piece. Well, thanks, dude. But only this one. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We'll meet again for a ball, and next time, you'll not escape me. Oh, he thought it was really funny. Okay, fair enough, dude. So there's the chess piece. Uh, oh, man, we got a prisoner to help. Okay, let's go get him. I uh, was wanted to see if maybe some more little health pickups would show up. Really surprised. Really surprised this game is that sparse with the, uh, the health pickups. Pretty strange. So there's the chest piece. That's a, kind of the freebie one that you get in every level. We got to find the other white piece uh, if we were to actually get the other black chest piece here. So, who do we got here? Oh, this looks like a new friend here. Pigeon dude who likes to dance. This is Prue. Thanks for saving me. What is your name, brave hero? Raku from Venture Family? So that piece you were talking about is... Oh no, the chest set has been stolen! Prue, this is serious. Really serious. Prue. Of course I know, everybody knows, but we don't have time for further explanations. Go to the Four Falls Temple in Central Verda, so I can explain it better. Alright. Shouldn't you be flying away? If I'm, if I'm to get with you? We don't have much time, so I'm not going to fly away. I'm just going to kind of sit here and peck the ground. We don't have much time. <laughs> well, normally I would go and hunt and peck, uh, no pun intended, pigeon. 
uh, and look for the white chest piece to find, or the uh, white board piece so we can get the last chest piece. But I think you guys kind of get the point with this game here. I think you understand what this is all about. Uh, but before we go, before we take off here, uh, we are actually going to go ahead and we're going to go back to Raku's home here. We're going to put on the new suit we just got, which looks pretty cool. Let's see here. There it is. What does this look like? Oh man, okay, some kind of native thing. Interesting. Some kind of indigenous people thing. Okay, I'm in. I, I think it's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Uh, with all the costumes there. I think there's a lot of cool options. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. That, that is Raku Venture. Like I said, it is uh, uh, early access on Steam right now. Um, I think it's a, a pretty well-made 3D platformer. Um, I really hope that the developer, uh, or developers, rather, uh, hopefully they kind of stick with this game and uh, they keep uh, trying to make it their own, even though they're trying to emulate like an N64 3D platformer because I, I think that there's potential for this to actually be not just a really cool game but a cool series have you know if, if this actually uh, works out uh, as, as a good game and they keep keep at it you know um, one thing I want to point out too is that on the shelf here they do have uh, Battleship and Hero Quest a bunch of classic board games up there which I think is pretty cool so that's pretty fun um, I also want to notice let me change into another outfit here if I change into the chef's outfit does it actually remove it from the hangers there? Look at that attention to detail, guys. I want to point that out, too. When I was wearing the uh, the bone outfit and then switched to the chef outfit, it actually put the item back on the hanger. Variables for the win, right? <laughs> if else, whatever. Um, but yeah, cool game, guys. Uh, I definitely recommend checking it out if you're into 3D, platform for, uh, 3D platformers because I think you'll like it. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. Of course, uh, if you like this video, if it helped you out at all, please uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can leave me a GG in the comments if you want. And of course, uh, I will see you all next time.